What is going on guys, Nameless here. Today I want to talk to you guys about Black Ops 3, some of the rosters, roster mania, and all that good stuff. First off, I want to say, just got Halo 5, it's hella fun, it's what I've been playing, trying to pass time to Black Ops 3. I never realized how bored I am without Call of Duty, because there's not a lot of stuff to do. So, uh, whatever you guys have been doing, post in the comments below, let me know if you guys are excited for Black Ops 3, and what games you guys have been playing. Personally, I've been playing Halo, it's been super fun, I enjoy playing it. But anyway, so yeah, there's been a lot of uh, stuff going down in the community, a lot of information getting passed around, stuff like that. Um, basically, there's been a couple roster changes. Um, as you guys know, I'm going to start off with uh, Sensor announced that he's coming back. He is teaming alongside Apathy and Saints. So what that says is they're looking for one. They don't have an org that they've said that they're going to play under yet. Um, I know that you can't have two teams next year, so I'm wondering if they're going to be, you know, not another phase team. I mean, they, they can't. So I don't know how that's going to work. So they're looking for one, and that also means TK needed one. So TK picked up Gunjar, back to the old TK squad. Um, they found a lot of success in Black Ops 2, so that's kind of, um, you know, that was a no-brainer. I knew that was going to happen or something along those lines. And um, hopefully that works out for them. They're a bunch of good dudes, and shout out to them. So hopefully they can, you know, turn up in the new game. Um, also, that means Elevate uh, broke up. There's a lot of, all the Elevate players dispersed. TJ, um, since he can't compete next year, their team broke up immediately after Worlds. And um, Saints joined with Apathy and Sensor. They're looking for one, like I just said. And then uh, Octane and uh, Classic. It's Octane, Classic, Slacked, and their fourth is Looney. So yeah, th that's the that's Rise. That's a new Rise roster. They made their team before the new game. Um, Looney from Envious. You know, he went to Rise. Uh, Octane and Slack from Elevate. And then Classic from Denial. They are the new Rise team. And then um, that also left a gap on Envy. And Envy made a lot of roster changes as well. The only player left from their uh, Advanced Warfare team is Jcap. It is now Jcap slasher aches and they're looking for one with Merc as a potential for it. They're going to be running scrims with him. So a lot of changes went down. I mean, that's like a drastic revamp of the Call of Duty scene. Um, there's so many roster changes. Recently, just now, they just got announced Spacely, John, Proofy, and... Um, and replays made a team, so that's another new team. They're teaming under just us, and there's just so many roster changes going on. Um, everybody's making moves before the game comes out, and um, the only teams that really are sticking together so far are Phase and Optic. And I don't even know what our team's gonna do. Like I said, you can't have two teams next year, so we're still trying to work out what we're doing as a squad. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of people that are free agents. There's a lot of rosters that are just you know possible that aren't happening yet and stuff like that. So I guess we'll know really really soon what happens. Um, I was never for the like making a team before the game, but it's looking like you're going to have to at this point because all the rosters that are forming are really kind of leaving players out there and um, they're, they're committing to these teams. So it's looking like you're going to have to make a team going into the game and, you know, just to grind and get everything down because I'm fairly sure all this stuff's going to start very, very early for the World League. And um, moving on to my next topic, they're announcing all the World League stuff tomorrow on um, the ESWC live stream. Uh, there is, or not ESWC, excuse me, Paris uh, Games Week. It's not, I don't think it's ESWC. Either way, it's Paris Games Week. Um, a couple pros are there, Study, Krim, Replays, Mr. X, Maven. They're all there, and um, they're announcing a lot of Black Ops 3 League information, and they said that they're also going to announce some maps. I know they're bringing back some World at War maps, uh, some Black Ops 1, possibly Black Ops 2 maps, and um, I'm pretty sure right when the game comes out, there's going to be a big DLC, but... Um, like I said, they're bringing back old maps. Uh, they're announcing all the World League intel tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to be a big day for the e for the Call of Duty esports scene. There's going to be a lot of stuff that gets announced, and I'm really excited. Uh, with all the roster stuff that's happening, all the new information, all the pros that are there that are playing Black Ops 3, they said that it's amazing, it's incredible. So I just can't wait you know, to get my hands on the game and let alone find my team that I'm going to be playing with. So uh, I'll be figuring all that out soon enough. I'll let you guys know right away when I know. And thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. I just wanted to keep you guys informed. Make sure you tune in tomorrow to the uh, Paris Games Week live stream so you can see all the information that gets dropped. And until next time, guys, peace.